We've had quite a morning this morning having a Southern California background. I thought we had an earthquake here in Arizona. Don thought a bomb might have gone off. We're so close to the Air Force Base. Well, we'll take a look and see what happened. At about 6.30 in the morning, that's still very dark at 6.30, we had a neighbor who was backing out of their spot and they ran right into our rig. So I've got to call into a number of repair places to find out, one, what it's going to be to repair the, the molding that's, that's damaged. but. Also to find out if there's any damage to the kingpin so we're safe to be able to tow. Um, life of living on the road. Unless this is all glass. And there's all sorts of glass down there too. He hit, we're figuring he had to be doing at least 10 to 20 miles an hour <laughs> backing up. He had the thing full on backed right into us full speed as far as backup speed. So uh, totally busted out his entire back window. And there's those jets again. Okay, so this episode, oh my, yeah, it almost did. This is the episode that almost didn't happen. Yes, we basically, uh, about a week and a half ago now, two weeks, somewhere around there, week and a half, uh, we had a rude awakening at about 6.20 in the morning. Uh, this huge crash and shake, and it felt like an earthquake. Southern California peeps. Did I just say peeps? Yeah. Uh, my gosh. If it wasn't for the fact that it only lasted like one or two seconds, I, I thought it was an earthquake. Uh, I was expecting it to keep shaking. Uh, come to find out our neighbor... Um, was backing out of his driveway across the street from us. Went to hit the brake, hit the gas instead, and backed right into the front of our rig. So there was some damage. In fact, right now, I am sitting at a park, uh, not a park model, but actually somebody's um, model here at the, at the park. We're renting for three days while our rig is getting repaired. Also apologize for the handheld camera tripod, my good cameras, everything is like in the rig, in the repair facility. So this is going to be kind of an update of what have we been doing? Uh, Don's been working a lot in the activities office and our dogs are seeing people go by. A large standard poodle just walked by with its owner. So we've got this nice little porch. It's really pretty cool. Um, so we're here uh, for another day, today's Thursday, Friday, uh, we're supposed to be picking up the rig, but we also have to be out of this place. Um, somebody's moving into it uh, tomorrow at 1 o'clock, so we have to be out tomorrow morning early, and we've got a ton of stuff going on. So to fill you in on what's been happening, uh, besides the accident, uh, the damage was only front cap. Could have been a whole lot worse. Thank goodness it wasn't. Uh, we've been doing a lot of decorations for uh, Christmas, not in our rig, but in the park. We are officially work campers now, overseeing decorations. We're the decor people. We're the ones that put up all the fun Christmas stuff. Uh, I think I'm going to be burnt out of Christmas stuff this year. Yeah, so in fact, I was just talking to Don, you know, years to come, let's just get those blow-ups, you plug them in, and boom, you're done. Uh, so anyways, yeah, we've got that coming Um I've been getting involved in a lot more things. Don's been getting involved in a lot more things. In fact, I'm playing in a dulcimer string uh, group. It's a club for dulcimer enthusiasts. And we're talking mountain Appalachian dulcimers, not the hammer dulcimers, which is really cool because I've been dragging two dulcimers around and Don's been questioning that space. So now I can rationalize it because I'm playing my dulcimers again. Uh, I also got involved with uh, a couple of other uh, neighbors, and we put together a jazz trio, and we did a short little gig um, 
in uh, the bistro uh, about a week ago, and that was uh, as well attended as you can put in, uh, pack people in that little bistro. It rained, but we we were inside, so that worked. Uh, also started yesterday playing with a um, a band that's uh, they do a lot of country, they do some rock and roll, they do a, some old standard type numbers. Um, Kind of like what I was playing in Vegas with Reunion, miss you guys, uh, but probably a little bit heavier on the countryside. Mike would probably appreciate that. He kept teasing me because I was the rocker. He liked the country. So I played with him yesterday, and the, the funny thing about that is that I'm going to be playing banjo and guitar with them because they already got a bass player. So what's kind of wild about that is now I'm actually able to rationalize carrying all of my instruments with me because I'm doing bass on the jazz trio, dulcimer, and now banjo and guitar. So finally everything's getting put to use. Dawn's been getting involved in stained glass club, and she's learning how to do stained glass work. Um, and uh, it's it's just been, uh, we've been really, really busy. Every night, a new band at the Tiki. They had uh, Ugly Sweater Night the other night. Amber, uh, our daughter, who's the activities director here, now was having a blast there doing her thing. And, um, yeah, it's uh, it's just been kind of a whirlwind. But the problem we've been having, too, is I've been shooting a lot with my phone only to find out that Apple, in their infinite wisdom, when I updated the iOS uh, and my computer is too old to update to the latest OS they don't talk to each other that well anymore. It's, um, you know, it's like, you don't send me flowers anymore. I don't know. Yeah. They, they just don't, uh, it's hard to get them to communicate. And I'm really having a horrible time trying to get my photos off my phone and my videos, especially the videos off the phone onto the, uh, um, onto the computer. So, if anyone has any suggestions or has any ideas, I'm going to start doing some major Google searching to see if there's any way I can get that to, to talk again, uh, other than eventually I'll be breaking down and buying a new computer. Uh, but that's about how that was going. What else is going on? Uh, the RV, like I said, is in the repair shop now. Uh, we dropped it off a few days ago. They found a little bit more damage than what they originally thought, which we kind of expected. Um, he hit pretty hard. And uh, let's see. Oh, I was going to talk about pros and cons of wintering in one location doing kind of the semi snowbird thing. So, first of all, the pros of wintering in one location. Uh, first of all, we're in, we're in Arizona. It's warm here, uh, respectively. Now, we think it's cold, but um, it got down to like the low 40s last night. Today's going to hit about 70 degrees. Dogs love the mornings. I love the afternoons. <laughs> so um, that's one of the advantages. You're not going to have to be dealing with bitter cold. We originally planned on January 1st to head down to the Gulf Coast, which we won't be doing because um, we'll be here in Arizona for the pretty much the entire winter and uh, early spring. So that's the, one of the pros is the weather. Uh, another pro is all the activities. I mean, if you're bored at this park, it's your own fault. Um, we're at the Sunflower RV Resort. If you check that out, check out their website, man, there is something happening every single day. There's clubs, there's crafts. Yes, Lori, lots of crafts. <laughs> uh, there's just, I mean... If you play pool, pickleball, tennis, it's all here, and there's clubs to go along with it. So if you don't play but want to learn, they'll teach you. Uh, when we first got here, Don and I took a lesson in playing pool, and there's and everything's pretty much free unless you're in something where it's a craft. Then you got to at least pay for your supplies. But other than that, all the uh, training, all the lessons, it's all free. It's supplied. The work camping, there's an advantage there. The pros of work camping and staying full-time is that we are only going to be working, on average, 10 to 12 hours a week. 
and with those 10 to 12 hours of week, we're basically getting um, our site fee and our utilities paid for. So in a sense, we're staying here for free while well, we're staying here for not paying anything out except for that. Now, they do pay us. We then, in return, pay them the money back. Uh, it's it's got to be done that way for legal reasons, but uh, that's kind of the way it all works. Just checking the time. I need to get going here right now, and I'll come back and finish up. Uh, what I need to get going for is that uh, today I was planning on checking out the computer club. Yes, go figure, me at a computer club. So um, we're going to be checking that out too, and I'll probably talk a little bit as we're heading over there. But um, that's been it. We've been having a great time. So uh, more, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more. Um, for you, it'll be instantaneous. For me, it'll be in a few minutes. So here we go. Uh, more of the pros for being here is you get a chance to make some friends. Uh, there's other people here who have similar interests that will travel during the summer months as well. So you can hook up with people, find people going in the same direction you are so you don't have to travel alone. That's really some uh, great things. I mean, the people is really what makes it. There's a lot of really great, awesome people we've been meeting here. Some of the cons, hey, before we go into cons, let's take a look at the facility. We're gonna go see Dawn in the activities office. Maybe find Amber there too. Say hi. Hey. What can I do for you? Welcome to Sunflower. I'm just passing through shortcut to the you know computer what? I club. You need a revolving door because everybody just goes. <laughs> Just passing through, just passing through. Well, yeah, I mean, it's right there, and then I'm going yeah. right there, so that's the yeah. best way to go, so. Well, come on in. All right, well, see you in a bit. All right. All right, now, this is the tiki area. And what you're missing behind me is the wood carving and another jacuzzi and semi-indoor we got a pool there's a pool exercise club going on over here i'll go on with the cons when i get out of the club meeting i just realized it's starting so i need to get going it's interesting that you don't always get away from certain things apparently in the computer club they were having some audio issues. So yes, I got called in to fix all that mess. So we got everyone up and running, computer had sound and we we're all happy. So, but now let's get to the cons of staying in one place. One, I have to admit, I am already itching to want to get back on the road. The whole concept of traveling is why we did this in the first place and I do want to get back out and see sites. We apparently don't get a chance to get out uh, locally, though we're trying to get that set up here real soon. So hopefully we'll start hitting some local sites and at least sharing that with you. But it seems like we're not doing that like we were originally expecting. So we've got to make that time. When you're traveling full time, you're going to locations, you're going there for a purpose. When you're sitting in one spot, I mean, think about all the places that you have around you where you live right now. How many of those have you actually been to? And that's uh, that's an issue. Um, we got here, we figured, hey, we got all this time, we'll be able to do it, and it keeps getting put off. So that's definitely one of the cons. Uh, was there any other cons? Well, you know what? I think there's probably a lot more pros than there were cons. That was the biggest con. One more pro that I was thinking about, in fact, I'm back here with the pups, they're going to want me to let them out. Let me get to that car, uh, that one more pro in just a second. So that one more pro is that because we are work camping, because we're not paying resort fees, we're not paying utilities, we're not driving as much, so we're saving on fuel costs, we're able to put away funds that one can help with, uh, first of all, build a nest egg 
for emergencies. So if we have a, a real problem, we're going to have a nest egg built up. We are going to be able to pick up some of the items that are on our wish list that we didn't start out with that we really need, such as a generator, uh, the Togo Wi-Fi setup we're going to be getting. So there's a lot of things like that that we can then have the funds to be able to get done. Uh, but most of all, getting that nest egg built up, because face it, some of the places we're going to be traveling to, um, some things might cost more than we expected. So it's going to be beyond our budget. This way we can have some money set aside that we can do some of those attractions that could be a bit pricier that normally we would have to say, uh, we don't have that in our budget and have to buy, uh, bypass. So um, that's basically that's basically it. Uh, to be honest, I think uh, the dogs are settling in okay. That's kind of a pro and a con. I know they really like the grass when we were in areas with grass. And they love being out in the nature where they're not able to get out as much here because there are more restrictions on dogs. Uh, so they cannot just be on full lead all the time. Uh, but um, but they're enjoying it. Like right now on this patio, they're loving that. When we were sitting out in the rig in our other site, they were really enjoying that as well. So, so uh, all's happy on the puppy front. Well, this is a little bit more of a sparse edition. Uh, at least it seems that way. Uh, when I get this edited down, it might be a little longer than I thought, but I'm not expecting it to. This will probably be a fairly short video. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end it right here. And um, same thing, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel and you like what we're doing, please subscribe. Uh, subscriptions are really great. They really help us. The likes are really good, too. And if you want to know when we post, hit that notification bell. We post every Sunday at 2 o'clock, and that'll give you um, uh, just one little notification. Nothing obnoxious, but one notification to let you know we've posted a new video. So that's about it. Um, hope you guys are having a great holiday season and uh, safe travels.